I don't live uh, in Samaritz. It's uh, 15 minutes away from Samaritz. It's a really small town. Depends on how fast we drive. <laughs> it's five minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's always good weather. We have a lot of sun here. <laughs> but the summer, it's not really hot. It's mostly about 20 degrees. So for us, it's okay. We know it. But yeah, the winter is really long, short summer. That's, uh, I think that's the biggest problem. <laughs> The stereotype, uh, Swiss stereotypes. We eat a lot of cheese, which is not a stereotype, it is true. And I hope it stays like that, because cheese is amazing. It, I don't know if that is a stereotype, but I think, well, it is not a stereotype, we work a lot. I think Swiss people work a lot. I think Samaritz is a nice, it's one of the cities where it just feeds the cliché. Because you go to Sam Ritz and you see that, you see the city, you see the, the Louis Vuitton, all of that, and you think, oh, this is this is Switzerland. And which actually, that's what we're going to show you, which is like the more more important part is all the nature stuff and, and the beauty of that. So let's see if we find the spot to go on the ice and not break through the ice. So now we are in Sils, Silva Plana. It's a... Uh, yeah, in the summer it's really lovely to kite surfing here. They have also world championships here. So yeah, it's a big lake. It's about three lakes that are together. Yeah. yeah I look really cool, but I'm eating my pants right now. Oh, this is good. Did you hear a crack? What would it be? standing on the Silsersee, which is uh, one of the three lakes. And the last one of the lakes is the, the one with the Samaritz Lake. So this is the first, then there's the Silvaplana yeah. Lake, and then the Samaritz Lake. And we're probably standing on very rare ice, which uh, only happens if it's really cold, um, and there's no snowfall and no rain yeah. and wind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a lot of place where you can ski. I mean, you see there one, then it's the Korvac. That's one of the highest. It's about over 3,300 meters. Then you see uh, Motis Murail. You can slide down with a sled, also by night. It's really cool, also dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> And on the other side, it's uh, Corvilla. It's a really big place where you can ski. And yeah, you can also party there. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, this should be about bobsled, not skeleton. I just remembered. <laughs> How did you move in? It's oh, so close! Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We are at the uh, camping in Silva Plana. It's a place where my club and also the city. Silva Plana city will build a new push track. It's brand new and Let's see how it works then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is one of the parts of the three seas where it's actually allowed to do water sports. I think no motorsports, but like windsurf, 
uh, kiting. I don't know if there's kite surf, probably yes. Oh, yeah. So you can see the the rails. Um, let's say, I mean, from the location, you you can. It's my. It's like a normal, like what you know from a push track. Um, but for me, it's like the location is. I don't know if uh, a lot of push tracks around the world have like a like that kind of a view. Now it's difficult because the sun is going down, but you have the lake, uh, which is just fantastic. Uh, and it gets kind of warm in, in summer. Now it's a little bit freezing, uh, but but other than that, it's, it's quite perfect. Yeah, you should you should see that in summer. It's, it's really nice. You have all the sails and stuff. It's a lot of people. And, Quiet place. Very good. We're at the gallery of Sam Ritz. You have the old picture of Sam Ritz on the right side, Sam Ritz. Uh, so that's the third lake, then the second lake. All the way back is where we started the today's day on the black ice. So we did the whole tour and now we're back at Samaritz. And now we look at the last lake. You can just see the this was 1948 and they had a, like a race and that, that's what uh, Samaritz looked like and they had like an advertisement for the races. And those were the old sets at that time. Yeah, so that's when Cedric started bobsleigh. No, it's not true. It's 19.5. I think, I think everybody knows Melly. We're not good enough to be on the picture, but we'll be soon. We actually, now we can see that, you know, the, the curves in some race at the track, they're not named 1, 2, 3, 4. They have different names. So you have the Portago Corner as well as Nash and Dixon. Um, you had uh, Martino, you had Sax. Um, that's where the names come from, from these guys. Actually, it's different today, right? It is anders. But it's eigentlich. Nein, du hast Twall, Sunny, Horseshoe, Bridge, Sleep, Sax, and then it's the finish. Yeah. Now it's a little bit longer. So we're at the third third lake, uh, Lake Samaritz. Uh, it's frozen, of course. Um, and next week they're probably already preparing for the white turf, I guess. Uh, yeah, looks like it. So you're, you're going to have a lot of uh, horse races um, this weekend, uh, where we have our competition. And our competition will be. Yeah, you cannot see it from here, but it's right around the corner. Summer, you have a lot of sailing races here because a lot, a lot of wind here. So yeah, it's always something going on. But I think now it's time for chocolate. Come, come, come! Eins, zwei, drei. Mir noch gut. Ah, du bist schwer, was denk? Maybe later. They don't have my size, I think. Will you joke say? Schau mal, wenn so nah mit drauf steht. Was ist das? Und der Rollkragenpulli finde ich geil. Der ist. Yeah. Yeah, oh, famous. Famous. I'm going to uh, shop. 
That's actually our next ride, yeah. So we are approaching the end of the day and I think for the end of this uh, segment we will get you guys some real chocolate and we're here at Laderach which probably has the, one of the best chocolate uh, assortments uh, in Switzerland. So let's go see it. The Schwarz. The Schwarz. The Schwarz. The Schwarz. Champagne. Champagne? Yeah. It's champagne. I like champagne. So the founder of this Badrut's Palace, I think, is the, the guy that invented all those uh, winter sports like uh, curling, ice skating, figure skating, bobsled, or the bobsliding. Um, yeah, just to keep the guests uh, entertained. <laughs> so Nico, what's your favorite bar in Sabrinz? Stübli, which is right over there. Um, yeah, that's my favorite bar. What's your favorite bar? It's the same. I like the Sky Bar. It's in the Hotel Monopole. The Sky Bar in the Hotel Monopole. You see the whole Sabrinz town by night. It's really cool. All right. Your favorite sport, what you can do in Sabrinz? Besides bobsled? <laughs> of course, besides bobsled. Or skiing. Um, skiing. Skiing, of course. That is a no brainer. What's your favorite corner in San Moritz of track? For me, it's the Martino. Martino? Because you're just really fast there. Yeah. And feeling yeah. the, the wind. Yeah. And yours? My favorite curve. Bridge. Because I'm really scared of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only, only, only curve I'm a little bit afraid of. Because I know we're going fast already, and like, oh, and it just comes like, oh, boop. This is a golf club. Golf, golf. There's some holes here. Down here, it's a driving range. So yeah, thanks to Bibifas to show the Samaritz and the Engadin town. And I hope to see you all at the race and the weekend. And let's have a good race together. See you guys. Thanks for watching. We're also talking. I just want to talk again.